Hi, I'm Chris Van Hollen, and I'm proud to represent the great state of Maryland in the United States Senate. And it's my pleasure to join you for another Congressional Renewable Energy and Energy Efficiency Expo. I'm especially pleased to join this year's event because it coincides with the 40th anniversary of the birth of the Environmental and Energy Study Institute. Back in 1984, a bipartisan group of members of Congress helped launch the EESI, recognizing that everybody has a stake in a clean energy future. In the years since, you have showcased pioneering researchers, key policymakers, and entrepreneurs who are developing innovative new clean energy technologies. I've been proud to work with the EESI during my time in Congress, including serving as co-chair of the House Renewable Energy and Energy Efficiency Caucus during a period of time when I was in the House. Today, we face a critical moment in our effort to confront the climate crisis. Like elsewhere around the world, my home state of Maryland is experiencing the harsh impacts of climate change every day. The coastal communities along the Chesapeake Bay and the Eastern Shore are facing major costly tidal floods and big swaths of Western Maryland are on the verge of extreme drought. The costs of inaction are apparent and rising, but the benefits of action in the form of new technologies, energy cost savings, and good paying jobs are even bigger if we seize on those possibilities. And I salute all of you for being part of that mission. Together, we made history with the passage of the Inflation Reduction Act the largest single investment ever made in our fight to deploy more clean energy to address the climate crisis. I was especially proud to incorporate into that bill two measures I've been working on for years. The first was based on a bill I first introduced back in 2009 to establish a national green bank to leverage more private capital for clean energy projects. After years of working to advance this proposal, I teamed up with Senator Markey to create the $27 billion Greenhouse Gas Reduction Fund as part of the Inflation Reduction Act. These funds will serve as a force multiplier for private investment in clean energy projects to cut greenhouse gas emissions, advance environmental justice, and create clean energy jobs. I was also glad the IRA had another measure I had worked on with former Congressman, now Senator Peter Welch to make homes more energy efficient, which is a win-win-win for reducing energy demand, cutting costs for American families, and supporting over 2 million people in the energy efficiency workforce. Our Hope for Homes provisions of the Inflation Reduction Act provide rebates to homeowners who make energy efficient upgrades, like insulation, heat pumps, and HVAC systems, and funds training and certification programs for residential energy efficiency contractors. These measures create high quality, good paying jobs and reduce stress on the electrical grid. These two initiatives, the Greenhouse Reduction, Gas Reduction Fund and Hope for Homes are finally in the process of being implemented. And I hope the financial incentives and benefits they provide will help boost your efforts. Beyond those measures, the IRA included a host of other important provisions including critical incentives for offshore wind manufacturing and production. And I've been partnering closely with the Biden administration to ensure we can unleash the full potential of offshore wind in the central Atlantic. One of the most impressive success stories is underway outside of Baltimore at the site of the former Bethlehem steel plant. Once the largest steel manufacturing plant in the world, that factory closed its doors in 2003. Now, U.S. Wind is building Sparrows Point Steel on a piece of that land, a new facility that will fabricate wind turbines and create great jobs. These are just a few of the initiatives that we've been able to undertake in the past few years under the Biden-Harris administration. Of course, these successes didn't come out of nowhere. Organizations like EESI and people like all of you have provided critical research and engaged to help lay the foundation for that change. It will make a difference for decades to come 
We still, of course, have much more work to do, and we're counting on you for that too. Thanks for all you do.